Hi darlings and welcome to a brand new video here on my channel. It's funny, this time last week I filmed my staycation, slightly more refined capsule summer wardrobe essentials video and in many ways today's video is going to be the exact opposite. Today's video is going to be packing for my dream holiday. My dream holiday means first class flights, unlimited baggage, so this is all the rules thrown out the window, literally my dream holiday packing list, if you will. While I may not have any first class flights currently booked, I do finally have a holiday booked. We've just got to keep our fingers and toes crossed that it is able to go ahead. And I cannot even tell you how excited I am. So yes, I have been doing a little bit of shopping. I have placed a rather large net-a-porter order and I have also been ordering some bikinis. I've been ordering some sun lotions and things like that. So I thought I would put it all together in one video and it's not just all new in. These are also some pieces that have been in my wardrobe, getting dusty for the past couple of years, things which I love to take on holiday with me, a few beauty essentials that I reach for every time I travel. Oh my gosh, can you tell I'm just, I'm breathlessly <laughs> excited for this trip. And I thought I would share my excitement with you in today's video. If you are lucky enough to be going away on holiday as well, then maybe I'll be able to share some beauty tips, some gorgeous outfit ideas. And as always, everything that I'm mentioning in today's video will of course be linked in the description box down down below. Darlings, if you are new to the channel, it would mean the world to me if you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, including, hopefully in the not too distant future, a travel vlog. Oh my goodness. I'm just so excited. So let's get started. I feel like this outfit here is a bit of a giveaway as to where we have booked for our holiday. If you have any guesses, let me know in the comment section down below. But this dress, to me, just screams the location, the place that we're going. It is the perfect outfit for glamorous afternoons by the pool, going into dinner, going into bar, that kind of vibe. And it is the most gorgeous lightweight material. It has a very loose weave, if that makes sense. It's gonna be very breathable. I just adore this embroidery. I've made the sleeves a little bit puffy. The detail on the neckline is just spectacular. And this belt is great because it's very easily adjustable. So if I do a lot of eating, which I plan to, I can loosen it up and instantly feel a lot more comfortable. The length is also perfect for on holiday. Great for showing off tanned pins and I will show you a beauty product. In fact, here it is, that I will be popping on my legs in the evening. This is the Perfect Legs Skin Miracle Tinted Multivitamin Serum to perfect and help cover skin imperfections from This Works. Obviously, I feel a lot more confident when I have got a tan on my legs. I will probably get a spray tan before going, but I do like to pop a little something on my legs just to give them a bit of a shimmer, a bit of a glow, in the evenings on holiday, so this will also be coming in my suitcase. And then footwear-wise, I will most definitely be taking at least one pair of my Valentino rock stud sandals with me, but as part of my new in, I decided to treat myself to these. So I was toying up between treating myself to another pair of my Gucci, nope, <laughs> Chloe slides and then I thought you know what I love the ones that I already have and they are to be honest I would probably just buy the same pair again but they actually wash really well these are the ones that I'm talking about by the way these have kind of now become my gardening shoes because they are so easy to slip on and I know that's ridiculous saying that I garden in Chloe slides but I'm one of these people I just don't save things for best. I like to get a lot of wear out of the lovely things in my wardrobe. And about three weeks ago, these were looking gross. They were covered in soil, covered in compost, covered in green, freshly cut grass stains. But I just used a little bit of fairy liquid and an old washing up brush and they're good as new. So I decided I didn't need to invest in another pair of these. But instead, while browsing net porter I saw these. They are from Burberry and I thought they looked really elegant. They're a very classic style of shoe which I think will go with a lot of things. I'll probably wear the Chloe ones on beach days in case they get a little bit 
of abrasion on them and I might save these for perhaps our day exploring the old town, going shopping, another hint as to where we're going. Um, and to be honest, I very rarely wear heels on holiday just because I want to be relaxed, I want to be comfortable. The exception, of course, being my Valentino rock studs. These will most definitely be coming with me if we have a little bit more of a jazzy evening where we're doing a little bit more partying and I just want a little bit of heel height, then I'll wear these. But if not, I think I will alternate between these on a slightly more relaxed evening and also my gorgeous Nicholas Kirkwoods that I picked up recently from Farfetch. They have got the pearls in the heel. They look so lovely tied up the leg. And I think when the skirt length is a little bit shorter, like it is with this dress here, I think these will look absolutely gorgeous and really flattering. So essentially, what's that? One, two, three, four, four pairs of nice shoes and a pair of bougie flip-flops, and I think that's pretty much my holiday footwear sorted. Oh, actually, I do have another pair to show you later. <laughs> Up next, we have possibly the most Josie on holiday outfit to have ever existed, and this is a combination of two Zimmerman pieces, which just scream, again, the place that we're going. <laughs> I don't know why I'm being secretive about it. We all know that I'm going to Ibiza. <laughs> I've had so many questions like, Josie, why are you so obsessed with Ibiza? There are so many other amazing places in the world. Guys, I know, but there's something in my body that is a magnet to Ibiza, and I'm like, I'm physically drawn to Ibiza, and I know that I'm not the only one that feels that way. There is just something about the island. I think it's on ley lines, and if you're into all of that kind of stuff, you'll know that there is a natural attraction to ley lines. I think we actually live on one as well here in the Cotswolds, that's where the Roll Rice stones are. Anyway, I digress. Yes, we're going, going to Ibiza, spoiler alert. And this really is a Josie and Ibiza kind of outfit. So you may have seen this top before. I got this, I can't remember if it was Farfetch or Netta Porter. Pretty sure I managed to get it in the sale, which is amazing. I think I might even have used my shop tagger, Karma, on this. It is a very low neckline, so I might also add some slightly chunkier chain jewelry. And I just feel that this neckline is so lovely and so flattering in white, especially if you do manage to catch the sun a little bit on your chest. Speaking of catching the sun, there are a couple of sun creams that I absolutely love. And firstly, my absolute favorite is from Cordley. I'll be taking my beautifying sun care oil. The amazing thing about this sun care range is that it's formulated without octanox, octanox, Tate and oxybenzone might have got that a little bit wrong, which are the ingredients which are really harmful in our oceans that kill corals and other marine life. This is a really good clean formula, as you would expect from Cordley. And honestly, the tan that I get with this is insane. I've also heard so many people talking about the Vichy Capital Soleil range. This one has got hyaluronic acid in there, so I feel like this will be really good from my legs. And this one apparently is an enhanced tan. These are both SPF 50. So these are what I'll be taking with me to get a safe tan slash glow on our trip. And then back to the outfit. So you may recognize this style of shorts. I did purchase the blue shorts and top combination from Nessa Porto a couple of weeks ago, but I didn't love how they looked together. And then I saw this color shorts and I just thought that I would get a lot more wear out of the more amber toned. I think that they will go with a few more things in my wardrobe. So I decided to swap them. The design details, oh, the scallop against bare skin, I think is such a gorgeous design detail, which I absolutely love. I think it's so flattering where they finish. This area of my tummy is where I'm most self-conscious. So I love that they cover that. I love the pockets. I love the length of them. And again, just with a little pair of flat sandals, this is a perfect evening in a beefer outfit. The one thing that I don't like about this top is that often the shoulders do kind of fall down a little bit. It actually doesn't look bad with the shoulders down, but this one is very similar, a little bit more casual for the daytime, and it is from Hermano Schiervino. I bought this from Luisa Roma in the sale. I'll try and find it and link it down below or something similar. But these kind of bardo off the shoulder tops are great for showing off a tan and so comfortable to wear, especially when it is seriously hot, which I think it will be in Ibiza. Okay, so I wasn't planning on just 
getting my bikini on for this video but I was trying a few things on and I just absolutely love this bikini so I have shown you this one before it is from Arabella London it does show my birthmark on my tummy which I used to be self-conscious of but now I'm just like it's part of my body I don't really care no one no one actually cares what other people look like in a bikini because they're always so self-conscious about what they look like if you don't feel self-conscious in a bikini then I'm so happy for you, but I think 90% of me immortals do feel a little bit self-conscious sometimes in a bikini. But of all the bikinis I've tried, the Arabella London ones make me feel the absolute best. I bought this one this year. It has got... I'm... <laughs> So I've got a hair bobble tying um, the belt in at the back at the moment because where my waist is a little bit narrower than my hips, more so maybe than other people, I need to basically pinch in at the belt. So I'm just using a hair bobble to tie it in place at the moment. I mentioned a second ago that my tummy area here is where I am most self-conscious. So I love that this bikini covers it up um, and I just don't need to worry about that area. And it's also a really nice thick fabric. So it feels like everything is a little bit more held in. I think that once I have a little go at this with the sewing machine, how cute is this bow detail? I just think it's adorable. And I get it fitting me absolutely perfectly. I'm probably gonna wanna wear this one the whole time during the holiday. I apologize for any building work that you can hear going on in the background we are having one of our chimneys lined and it happens to be the chimney stack which is going up right behind my wardrobe background so next we have a couple more new pieces from my net porter order and it includes a really beautiful as much as I love a bikini sometimes I just feel a little bit more confident in a swimsuit especially kind of after 4 p.m. maybe after lunch, you know what I mean? And when perhaps the sun starts to lose a little bit of intensity, so I don't mind being a little bit more covered up. And similar in a way to the Arabella bikini, this one is just a really nice thick fabric. So again, the structure is just really streamlined and very flattering. Also, when I'm abroad, I do love a robe. I love a dressing gown or a linen robe here in the UK. And I do like to wear something lightweight around hotel rooms, down to the pool and things like that when we are abroad as well. So I saw this one while browsing Nessa Porter. I really like the terracotta color. I like how lightweight it is weight wise from my suitcase. It weighs practically nothing. And it's a little bit peculiar. So it is essentially just a plain robe with these little tie details. You can tie it in a bow in the middle, but then it also has a separate piece of fabric, like a big square that you can get a little bit creative with. You can tie it around the waist like I've done. I'll pop a couple of the model pictures up on the screen here so you can see a few other ways of doing it. But it's also a great thing to just throw in your beach bag. I don't like putting proper clothes on after a day on the beach when we're about to hop back in the car or in a taxi back to the hotel. So something like this at the end of a beach or pool day is definitely something that I'll get a lot of wear out of on my dream holiday. Just filming the try on clips and I realized you can actually take these off as well. So if you are wearing it with the extra fabric around your waist, you don't need these. You can actually just unbutton them and completely take them off, which is great. As you can see, I have tied it in more of a sarong style this time. I've just tied the extra bit of fabric in a little knot to the side, which is quite nice. You can see a little bit more of the swimsuit this way. And I'm going to share with you another of my favorite beach accessories. So this is a very bougie and unnecessarily <laughs> expensive beach mat that I treated myself to from Vista Village a couple of years ago. In Ibiza, many of the beaches, especially the ones which we prefer to go to, which are a little bit quieter, kind of more hidden coves, they often don't actually have sun lounges and they more often than not are pebble beaches, which is great. You don't get sand everywhere and the water is so crystal clear. So you do sometimes need something to make it a little bit more comfortable and this will do exactly that. So it's one of these kind of wooden beach mats which you often see sold on the beachfront and then it has got the very lovely bright orange Lueve pattern on the underside. It's got this leather detail which means you can pop it over your shoulder, so great when you are hiking down to the beach. Wow, it literally sounds like there is a giant climbing through the chimney stack and I will probably also take one of my Lueve basket bags with me as both my hand luggage and my everyday bag and my beach bag. Something that you'll always find 
In my beach bag at any time during the trip will be my water bottle. I like to take my Lark bottles with me. They keep my water cold all day long. And they also have the amazing technology where if you press the button on the lid, you can charge it um, with the same charger that you would charge your laptop or an Android phone. And it actually sends, I think it's ULED light down into the water. And it will basically clean your water for you, which is amazing if it's a slightly strange looking fountain or you just want to clean your water if it has been in your beach bag all day. So this is definitely an accessory that we're coming with me for our trip. Obviously there are quite a few things that are already in my wardrobe that will definitely be coming with me. One of which is this incredibly versatile bandeau dress from H&M. I have got this in a few different colorways, but I feel like with a holiday tan, the white one is always going to be the one that I want to wear the most. It's really comfortable, super stretchy, great for again, after a day on the beach, you can just pull it on up over your bikini. It's also great for whipping your bikini off underneath it's just a very easy to wear and easy to style dress on holiday i thought i would share a few of the more random products that i also take with me on holiday random but incredibly useful and after you hear me talk about them you'll hopefully think i'm a bit of a genius and take them along with you as well first of all is a cool bag now this is not only actually water resistant so kind of so on the inside it's that kind of well obviously it's designed to have ice in it. So it's got a water resistant lining. I think you guys know the kind of material that I mean. So what I do is I actually pack my liquids within this in a carrier bag as well, just for extra security. But it just means that all my liquids are in one place and hopefully quite well protected. But also I just cannot tell you how useful it is taking a collapsible and lightweight cool bag with you on holiday. This one's from a brand called Business and Pleasure. I actually ordered this last summer from, or a couple of summers ago from America. I paid a lot of shipping, but I'm pretty sure there are some more localized retailers now. So I'll try and find this or something similar and leave it linked down below. It's great if we, which we often do, go to the supermarket, pick up some cheeses, cold meats and things like that to make a bocadillo at lunchtime, a sandwich, a nice cold bottle of coca-cola or in my case a fanta naranja. It's just really useful and especially if you're staying in an apartment you could take an ice block with you because there is nothing worse than a warm sandwich and a warm bottle of coke on a beach day so this is really helpful and it's quite a nice one. It's got a little leather shoulder pad as well so it's not uncomfortable to carry. As well as all your usual charges, I will be taking my battery pack. When I'm lying in the sun, I like to listen to music. I like to catch up on Love Island and things like that. So my phone battery does die out. So a portable battery pack is a must on holiday. And if like me, your hair gets just incredibly tangled when you're on the beach, you're going to want an ultra detangling hairbrush. My absolute favorites are the ones from Wet Brush. This is my newest one. It has got a very jazzy little pattern on there. These are so gentle on your hair, even if you've been in the ocean, if you've been out in the sun all day, they don't make my hair go frizzy. So I'll be packing at least one wet brush with me for the trip. And three more beauty products I won't be leaving behind. My cleanse and polish uh, for the body. So this is just a really, really moisturizing body wash. Charlie will always pack exfoliating gloves and they work really, really well with this. It helps to keep your skin moisturized for about 48 hours. It's just very calming, especially if you have had a little bit of sun on your skin during the day. And then after the shower, I like something really quick and easy that I can just spray on. And my favorite holiday post-shower moisturizer is the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing After Shower Mist. Clinically proven to moisturize for up to 48 hours. I actually shot an ad for this in Ibiza about three years ago. And since then it has absolutely been my holiday staple. And as for the face, I want some major hydration. So I'll be taking my Venusource Hydra SOS, SOS First Quenching Serum from Cordially. This has got soothing aloe vera and grape water in there. So again, just fantastic after a day in the sun to really help replenish the moisture level to keep my skin glowing. You may have noticed my skin getting more and more glowing as this video goes on. Well, times that by 100 when we are on holiday, my skin is naturally 
pretty oily so I do have to have a powder with me that's not gonna cake up my skin and keeps my skin nice and hydrated so of course I will be taking my by Terry hyaluronic hydra powder aka the best powder in the world aka the powder for people that absolutely hate powder like myself so I will definitely be taking one of these one from my beach bag one from my travel bag one from my handbag I actually don't know what I used to do before this powder. It has been an absolute game changer. So lovely when you're taking pictures as well. It just gives a really lovely, almost airbrush finish to the skin. I do very excitingly have my 20% off by Terry code at the moment, Josie 20. It won't be around forever, so don't hang around, but I would definitely recommend picking up one of these and a few of the new Hyaluronic Hydra Balms, which are just insane. I have got uh, Nudissimo on right now because they are perfect for summer in the UK, but also summer abroad. Another beauty favorite, again from By Terry, is their Beach Bomb Palette. Oh, it is just the most perfect shades. All of them have the most beautiful glow to them. It's got your bronzer, your highlight, your blush, and I actually like to multitask these products and use them as an eyeshadow as well. It is the ultimate super flattering palette for using on holiday and a really nice big mirror in the lid too. Sadly, my discount code doesn't work on this because it is limited edition, but I would highly recommend investing in one of these anyway. A couple more little random things. My Amazon fan comes with me on heat wave days and any travels that we do. It just charges actually with the same charger as my water bottle, which is very handy. Oh, I'm actually gonna be putting this in my handbag today because as I think I might have mentioned, I'm getting my eyebrows microbladed later and I feel like this is just gonna be really nice to soothe my face after the microblading. And then this is my travel toothbrush. The brand is Golo, G-O-I-I-O. And the reason I love this one is basically it's an electric travel toothbrush that has a little lid because I get really funny about my toothbrush being in my travel bag with all my cosmetics. I don't want to find any stray hairs in my toothbrush, so this is just perfect for traveling and great that it is electric too. This is from the same brand as the beach cover-up uh, robe that I showed you, and it is what I think is going to be a really flattering tanning bikini. I like to have a bikini that will get me really nice tan lines, so quite minimal, a little bit cheeky, and I just really liked the look of this. Again, I'll pop some model pictures up on the screen here. Hopefully it's not gonna make me look too much like a 12 year old boy because I am pretty much completely flat chested Which is always a bit of a challenge with swimwear. So for that reason I do often go for swimsuits instead. I believe this one is Melissa Ode Bash Oh no, Lisa Marie Fernandez. It is that kind of yellow seersuckery kind of material, which I do find incredibly flattering. And I think yellow is such a flattering tone on lightly tanned skin. And I have also picked up a swimsuit from Zimmerman. Kind of matches the outfit that I'm wearing right now. And yes, I am saving the best till last. Um, this will also look great with a skirt or a little pair of shorts if you plan on going from beach to bar. I feel like this is a really elegant style for that. And to go on top of my Loewe beach mat, I treated myself to a Zimmerman beach towel. Now I've managed to get this a little bit tangled, but it is essentially just a really large towel in this quite antique pink um, pattern it's really nice and lightweight so even when it's a little bit soggy it shouldn't be too heavy little tassels down the edge and just a beautiful color really nice big size sometimes i just feel like it's a bit cheeky taking hotel towels to the beach if you're not staying by the pool so i always like to take a lightweight towel with me as well and i thought this one was just too beautiful to refuse and yes, the best till last, this incredible two-piece is going to be my, maybe my final evening or our fanciest evening outfit. It is in fact a two-piece, so it is a skirt and a top with that very iconic billowing Zimmerman style sleeve, wrap style top, the pattern on this. I just think is so striking, it is so fabulous. Perhaps if we take an evening sunset drive to Esvedra, this will be the perfect outfit for that. A very elegant length, really beautiful lightweight material. And I decided to treat myself to a new pair of low block heels. These are from a brand called Le Fleur Randall. <laughs> Probably pronounced that completely wrong. But I just love metallics on holiday. I think, again, they're very flattering against a tan skin tone. They work with absolutely everything within your travel wardrobe and a low block heel. It should be very comfortable for wearing, for dancing, for whining and dining. 
and I think they'll look great with an outfit like this. I've had these sunglasses on my head for the last few outfits and totally forgot to talk about them. I'll take a few pairs, but most definitely my classic YSLs. A pair of black sunglasses is just a no-brainer. Something that makes every beach outfit look super chic, so I thought I would just mention those as well. Obviously there are a few other things that I'll be taking with me, but I hope this has given you a little bit of inspo. It certainly got me so excited for our trip. Keep your fingers and toes crossed, me darlings. Hope you enjoyed today's video. That is all from me. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend and I'll see you very soon in the next one. Bye.